Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is Orbital Gear from Nightnode Software. Nightnode is a Swedish indie developer, and Orbital Gear is their first big official release. This game is coming to Steam on August 7th, 2014, and it will be available for the price of just 10 bucks. Orbital Gear is, if I may assault your ears with some buzzwords, a fast-paced multiplayer 2D shooter with gravitational effects. Well, that sounds like a bunch of pretty cool words put back to back, but how does that actually congeal into a coherent gaming experience? Well, I'd like to show you. Unfortunately, we are talking about a pre-release multiplayer only independent game. Right now, the servers are super, super dead. Luckily, Nightnode was smart enough to send along a few extra review codes, and I was able to wrangle Mr. Brian Belita, one of my cohorts over at NitroBeard.com, into actually playing about 40 minutes of Orbital Gear with me last evening. We chatted about the game, we shared our raw and true first impression of the game, because this is literally the first time Brian or I have actually played against another human being in Orbital Gear. So what you're going to get is probably not the semi-composed version of Big Dave that you might be used to from my videos, but you're going to get some real and true impressions as we experience the game for the first time. And for anyone who's actually interested, I will summarize my first impression of the game at the very end of the video. But without any further ado, let's get to the action. Come back, where are you at? There you are. Oh, oh that hurt. No, leave me alone. Oh, oh. Where you at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you? There you are. Oh, yes. you got me again. I gotta be more oh, careful. I gotta be more careful. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess you do recharge health somehow. Mm -hmm. Or maybe from killing people? I'm not sure. Could be. Because I was at like 18, but now I'm at 78. Oh, nice. Oh, the oh, shredder. That's, that's the one that, that one actually shoots through planets, which is really nice. Oh yeah, it does. I see yeah. that. All right, I'm gonna switch up my weapons here. Uh, I'll take flat cannon and flame gun. Yeah, I like the... And I'll do... I'll do booster. I like the, the mechanic, the gravity stuff. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Where? Oh, no. jeez, yeah, that's... I can definitely see how this can get crazy. Oh, I tried yes. to shoot through the planet, Ooh. but I didn't make it. Almost got me there. Yeah, with four or five people... Oh. Oh. Oh, something got me. I don't know what it was. You got some kind of shotgun? Yeah, I've got a flat cannon and oh, oh, nice. oh. And then, oh yeah. Um, and then the flame gun. A little thing flies out after you die that like it's uh heat seeked on me and okay. refilled my life. Okay. So yeah. Let's try this Kaisenami and Phase Orb. Let's try that. It's like I wanna die to uh to try and use a different weapon. Oh, I just killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> it was like, I, th I put down a turret, and I was like, man, that's a really effective turret. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Like, it's... The, the boost is, like, almost just too fun to just not have. Yeah, I haven't used anything but the turret so far. So. Whoa. That orb of death is pretty crazy. Oh, that... Oh, that's cool. That actually oh, warps that's the awesome. planet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a shot. That was pretty crazy. A totally right, lucky take, shot. So that's the Kaisenami. I'm going to play with that a little bit more. The Kaisenami. Yeah, that, was, I'll take the pulse that looked rifle. absolutely insane. Yeah, I've got the pulse rifle now. It's pretty decent. Oh, you put down a, a turret too. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm almost not sad to die so that I could try a different weapon. Can I? Yeah, I know. Right? Discharge. Uh, let's just try that Hornet launcher. Oh, you can just keep dropping satellite turrets. Oh god. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 
I mean, luckily they don't do too much, so I think it's kind of that sort of. It's like, oh, they're just yeah. an annoyance, but they could definitely finish somebody off Ooh. if you were. Oh, that's why this the Hornet launcher does so little damage. It's because you can just constantly send out a barrage of heat-seeking missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that seems see. a little, little uh, OP, maybe. Let's try the grenade launcher and nail gun. Oh yeah, some of the dancing you can do around the gravity is is pretty pretty all right. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah, I could see this game having a pretty high skill skill ceiling ceiling on it. Oh, oh man, your heart is just going to be there. Oh, you got. Yeah, the Hornet Launcher, I can see uh, four damage per missile, but I can just lay those things out constantly. Yeah. All right, phase orb it is. Oh, I think that's the uh, the big green thing that I had that goes through planets and just wrecks. The thing that I dashed into, like, the first time I launched it and killed myself. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, where are you at? So I no, can I mean, it feels, it feels really good. It feels really good and tight. The, uh, oh, like here. it slowly forms. I see. Oh, I like that. Oh, and I just killed myself with it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't fire it in front of you when you're running. I guess it's the main. Yeah, and the um, <sighs> and, and the difference the, the difference in the planets is really cool. Like, uh, well, I mean, at least the one difference being the uh, the sort of translucent planet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all very ouch, ouch, well ouch. thought out. Oh, I like the way you get a little bit oh, of an I effect got... on the screen right before you die. I got an achievement shield, 5 out of 10. Nice. Is that the rating on my shield? My shield rating got a 5 out of 10. That's weird. Uh, okay, I feel like I'm cheese in with the hornets so I'll change off that <laughs> yeah and you can kind of like oh, use I... the gravity of the planets to send your Ooh, that got me oh did you take the grenade launcher too uh no I, took... oh, yeah. I thought I took a different weapon but I ended up with the phase orb again oh I was trying to take the, um <laughs> I was I was having some trouble actually selecting my weapons. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. Okay, chain gun. All right. Oh, the nail gun. Okay, I like that. All right. That goes yeah. through the big planet at least. Okay, I like the way that shield works. Oh, the shield! Oh man, it like took, it caught because I was firing into the concave part, and it sort of like scooped up my grenades. Oh, that's that was pretty cool. cool. Yeah, let's try that. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, that flame gun is awesome. Well, it looks awesome. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they've, they've done a really great job visually. Yeah, it looks great. Well, and it's cool too because it's so zoomed out. Yeah, like yeah, your your models don't have to be. Right, you can actually see. Yeah. Top quality, but they can still look good. Where did you go? Where did you go? There you are. Ooh. Oh no, I'm out of grenades. Oh no, I think I did. Uh, kind of flame slowly gun recharge. Is too short range. Oh, so close. Oh, oh nice, finally. Nice. All right, so let's I felt take, determined. Uh, 
I'll try the shield out. Take the discharger again. Actually, I like the Kaisenami and the Gauntlet. Yeah, the Gauntlet seem pretty great because we are constantly just passing by each other. Oh, now we both have shields. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be about finding that combination of weapons that complement each other. Oh, you got me. Gauntleted. Yeah, if you can get close, if yeah, if you can get close enough to that gauntlet, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like 100 damage. I guess that's that's 100 damage, so that's one hit kill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just I want more people playing oh. this game. I know. Oh, I thought my shoe. I do like that there's some risk with some of these weapons that they hit you as well. Yeah. Oh. Alright, we should try a different level, maybe. Hello. Oh, the gravity of this other planet stealing my grenades. There we go. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, oh nice yeah. shot. That was, that nice was some shot. lucky stuff. Sure yeah, I, uh, I just want like five more people on this level. I know, I know, right? And that was that was the one thing I think about Gun Monkeys that was smart was that it was a one on one game. So if you had oh, a it? friend, huh. you know, you you were playing Gun Monkeys. Interesting, I didn't know that. Ooh. Oh my god, I haven't touched the planet in like three seconds there. <laughs> yeah, there are some really cool moments like that. Whoa. Oh no. Oh damn. <laughs> I don't think I've landed a, sh a shot on this like lightning gun yet. Yeah, that thing is... I imagine that if you do, it's going to be crazy. Like in a first-person shooter, I'm pretty good at twitch aiming, but... Oh, you got me there. This is... Oh, did I? Yeah, you did get me. There you go. Yeah, you hit me once. Nice. Like, and, most oh. of my life. And it's just it's just really satisfying, like, when you, you kill a guy, like, between planets, and your guy does, like, the little flip around to land yep. on the other planet. Totally. Like, it's just fun. Yeah. Right, where'd you go? Okay, oh, like a rocket there launcher. You are. Oh, I don't even know what killed me. Yeah, I got the a little, I, I, little framey. I got you with the lightning gun, I think, and then I and then I did the uh, the flak or not the flak cannon, the uh, scatter. Whichever one goes through planets. Oh yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, and they can do some interesting stuff, like you know if you. A planet that if you're on for too long it starts hurting you or something like that. Oh yeah, like that kind of stuff would just be great. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm getting some lucky uh, tsunami shots here. And I killed myself. <laughs> Sainami. Yeah, that thing is pretty, no. uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's just like it gives people all sorts of different play styles. It's got some cheesy weapons, cheesier weapons. It's got some skill weapons. Ah. Uh. Oh, I, just, I was just running in the flame as it was going around the planet. <laughs> Oh, where did you go? Ah, what a shot. What I'm, a shot. I'm getting a little better. Getting a little better yeah, with the, sure. uh, the arc gun or whatever it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, that thing went the wrong way. You killed me, but my, uh, <laughs> my wave of death went the wrong way.
<laughs> entire battle running around planets. Yeah. Back here. Oh, I'm flying. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, shot. that was that was a good uh, lucky uh, uh, spray with the flat cannon. All right, let's take. Uh, oh, I had that flat. Okay, the shredder. I'll take the shredder. And yeah, there we go. And let's do booster. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's like a well-placed oh. shield there. I was kind of just standing here see, seeing if maybe I could kind of just hang and wait for you. Oh, nice shot. wow, that was lucky. <laughs> oh, you outsmarted me that time. Yeah, that hornet is brutal. Yeah, like it's, it's just sort of annoying, if anything. Yeah, it's just it's just super basic annoying damage that you just can't avoid. Well, I guess you want to move smartly. You can't avoid it. Oh, Ooh, nice. Let's see. Like this, this is the kind of game that needs like I don't know, like recorded replays or something like that too. Oh you yeah. Have those moments. Oh no. <laughs> Hornet versus Hornet fuckery. Yeah. Who can horn it? Oh, oh nice, you horneted nice. better than I horneted. I horneted. There, there we go. Now I'm here. Okay, cool. Oh, great. Okay, I just went out. Apparently there's a boundary you can go out of. At the bottom of the map. <laughs> Watch out for that. Oh yeah, all these extra little platforms. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. There's like a little spark where I was before. <laughs> Flamed <laughs> right at each other. Ah, walked into your fire. Ah. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know that I've played like a, like I, there was one on, I think PlayStation 3, that was like a 2D sort of deathmatch game, it was like so, Soldier, no, Soldier, I, I don't remember, but it was, um, it was like a 2D, you know, um, I don't want to say twin stick, but you know what I mean, you know, you could aim, yeah. you had 360 degrees of aim, um, but I think this is the fastest paced one that I've played before, like it, it feels like, Deathmatch, you know, sort of. It feels like Quake Three Deathmatch, but you know, two and a half D or whatever. Yeah, it's definitely got that going for it. I, I actually, I just kind of want more, more guns. <laughs> yeah. Like I just want more guns to play with. I mean, it's a good roster, but it's it's just a yeah. city being greedy. Yeah, you pretty pretty quickly kind of get to you. It's a little harder to get around on this level. Whoa, hello. Was blasting me off into space. Giant flame of death coming at me. Oh god, oh, I just ran into my own ball of death. Oh, nice. And then you killed me. Oh, I got, I got the credit. <laughs> Alright, face orb. You're not my friend. Oh, I had some mines orb. over there. That might have been what it was. Yeah, it's slightly harder to get around on this one, I think. Yeah, yeah, because if, like, if you land on the bottom of those flat platforms, you sort of hover and... Nice. Oh, nice. I got the, the shredder or whatever they. Yeah. Alright. Cover this planet in landmines. Space mines, <laughs> whatever. No, they're definitely space mines, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you got me. Gauntlet. I thought I was going to be, yeah, I cheated. be uh, smooth I cheated. and shred you. <laughs> not, that's not cheating at all. Yeah. That's actually the perfect counter to what I was going to do, because I was going to run up to you and hit you with a shredder, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, your minds, man. Like, it always freaks me out because it's a little sort of effect that happens on screen. It makes me feel like I'm going to die immediately. Oh. Now that was fun. That little yeah, juking around that. the planets right that. there. Oh, I killed myself. Oh, and then your your trail got me, though. That oh, was did nice. It nice. Yeah, the same trail that killed you. Same missile that killed you killed me. I think I had some mines out there helping me too. Yeah. Did they go through the planet? I'm not sure. Oh, what? Oh, that was crazy. It's the, it was the flames plus the mines again. Oh, okay, yeah, I got like stuck up on the physics there. Oh, yeah. I saw oh, a little hitch there, but that was, that was a good exchange. Yeah. Oh, I just, I'm just going to run through all your mines and just sort of. Get rid of them. <laughs> Just clear them out before we start real, real combat. <laughs> yeah, I think it really having the more active abilities and remembering to use them, the offensive abilities, is pretty important. Yeah. Dropping the turrets, dropping mines. I thought I had you there. I thought you did too. Oh, the shredder. The shredder. Ah, <laughs> uh, the shredder. Yeah, I, I, I like I like the gauntlet discharger combination. You know, sort of the long range sniping, and then the. Uh... Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, you got me there. Gauntlet. Nice. I mean, the, the yeah, because that one's definitely precise, gives like you... The, the, like the one... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of gives you everything you need. You're, you're weak in the mid-range, but everything else... Oh, mines. So like, they don't even have an icon for the mines when they kill you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the mines are proving to be pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Oh, nice. There nice we shot. go. Ooh, nice shot. You got me. That did like 80 damage to me. Jeez. There we go. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, I was, nice. That one actually, that's the one I'll take credit for. The last, the first one was just total luck. That one I'll take credit for, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was not gonna happen. I'm like, yeah, I don't really have any options here but to die. Oh, that was a good shot. Something got me there. Oh, I think it was your satellite. Oh, yeah, my old, uh, the old satellite uh, turret. I like the haze on this level. A little bit of warping around here. somehow have just two Whoa. life. I've just had two life forever. I had a nice little fly around there. Ah, yes. you got me. Oh, it's, you got the mines now, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I feel like I just need to take a pot shot every now and then. Oh, Ooh, that didn't. You did. You, you hit me there. Oh, okay. You did, okay. You did hit me there. Yeah. I was about to say. Oh, a little bit of warping there. That's okay. 
yeah, I mean, I'm not too, I'm not going to be too uh, harsh on it for net code and whatnot. But yeah, it does suck. No. A little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, warp all of a sudden. I think we're running around in circles. Yeah, we're Here. like exactly on the opposite sides of the map. Maybe I should start going counterclockwise. Yeah, it's the reverse direction. No, we both wait. We both reverse direction. We're never gonna find each other. <laughs> there we go. Oh, jeez, nice. Mid air flying shot. That was some good stuff there. Yeah, that was. That was a good exchange. Ooh, nice. Nice. All right, yeah, I gotta change moments. it up here. All right, cool. Yeah, I need to do that. Let's see. Grenade launcher. Yeah, that's, that's like your satellite kill me. Oh, it shut down. <laughs> I guess it's Do you want me to kill you? Shots. I can kill you if you'd like. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's going to go out of my way and do you a favor here. Oh, God, I'm down to 28. Nice. There you go. I that won't even pretend to take credit for that one. <laughs> uh, let's try. Oh, those mines. I can feel the pain of the mines. Again. Yeah, I'm going to switch to booster because there's too much fun. Oh, yeah, the booster's great. Actually, I, that was the one uh, special thing that I played around with when I played this just single player start up a server. Ow. Oh, I didn't realize that you can use W and S as well for direction. So that actually helps me a lot. Because sometimes oh, yeah. I get hitched up on like which direction it wants me to go or whatever. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. Ooh. Ow. Nice. Well done. Let me go back to mines. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well, this is a cool looking one. Yeah. Oh, that was great. I just shot right into the planet I was standing on. <laughs> yeah, they really spin around those little planets, don't they? Ooh. That got me. Oh, jeez. I think all three landed on me there. <laughs> Try that crazy phase orb again. Flame gun and phase orb. I think the phase orb seems at least like it's is better suited to the other side of play where you're trying to destroy like the buildings or whatever. Yeah. If you played that mode, yeah. So, I do like how it my part. releases upon your death, at least. If you've got one charged up. Yeah. Ooh. I just boosted through that. Yeah, you can definitely get some lucky pot shots with the, the phase warp thing. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. I ran right into those. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll... Oddly enough, you, run, you running into it exploded in my face. Nice. Yeah, I wonder if the phase orb would work with, like, the Hornet or something. Just for, like... Oh, holy cow. I've got that one spammable... Yeah, like one spammable weapon and then one... Oh, that one. Yeah. Mm, let's see. We'll stick with this for a leg or two. For a kill or two. Oh. If it's negative seven. achievement? 
Yeah, that was the, the most one I assists in a match. I got oh, okay. the most assists in a match. You got because assists. you killed yourself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, so now we're back on the first one. Nice. Yeah. That was fun. Right, let's do let's do a gauntlet and let's do a round of gauntlet and dischargers only. All right. And the gauntlet discharges and booster. And booster. Let's do it. I hope we can double KO with the gauntlets. Oh, that'd be great. If if it like releases this energy upon your death. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think it did. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't yet. Yeah, it doesn't oh, release like that. Lucky booster shot there, yeah. Ooh. And of course, like, while well, I have it charged up, I can't do anything else. Right, you're banking on that. I'm a little unsure on the time it takes to uh, fire the lightning gun when you after you switch weapons, or maybe it's the yeah. cooldown on the gauntlet. Maybe. Yeah. Get back here. Oh, I felt like I released that. Ah. Okay, I can't even get a lucky kill here. Come on. Like I wish, I wish the um, I don't know, like just the booster was just normal, but I, I guess it's a trade-off. It's just, it's just so much fun to have that. Oh, oh that was a nice shot. gonna get one of these kills eventually oh I see there's like a little ammo thing over on the side yeah with the gun oh damn ah, we, oh, both, no. we both both botched that one ah, tried to okay, I'm different... starting to learn a little more about the the boost thing like if you press down towards the planet and boost it'll actually boost you around the planet oh, but like if you do oh it yeah. just normally it'll it'll usually just launch you off of the planet Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, that was great we both took a swing oh just missed me. Yeah, I couldn't nice. charge up my gauntlet in time. That Good was a game. nice one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I really like this. Yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I think they yeah. uh, I think they're onto something here. I mean, I just hope I that agree. they can get people to play it. You know, I think yeah, that's the number definitely. one. That's the number one thing. I mean, if they if they can get a well, user base, even just like a small loyal user base. Yeah. When did this um? So, when did this drop on Steam? I assume it was available before. I don't think it's. I don't know. In some degree. Yeah, I'll have to check. Yeah, let me check. This doesn't even come out right, until the seventh of now. August. Yeah, so this wait. isn't out until. No, that's where you uh, get like a super early. Yeah, it's early. Early look at it. It's a so seventh of August, ten bucks awesome. on Steam. So there you have it, folks. Thirty minutes of deathmatch gameplay from Orbital Gear. Appreciate Brian chipping in on that for me, spending a little time with me feeling this game out. 24 hours removed from that gameplay session, I have to say, I am still really excited about this game. Really just sat here wanting to get back into the game, wanting to play a little bit more of the game, and that's a hallmark of a great game. Another thing that is a hallmark to me of a great multiplayer game is when you make your own fun. You saw there at the end, Brian and I essentially making our own game mode, only allowing you know the sniper rifle and the gauntlet kind of deal, uh, melee and long range. 
and creating our own fun. And that really is a sign of someone enjoying a game. Actually loving it, enjoying it, and saying, you know what, I like this game so much, I'm going to figure out my own way to play it, my own house rules, or whatever. That is a huge thing, and it's a thing that you can't necessarily capture pre-release. You can't necessarily say, this is something we intend people to do with our game. It's something that happens organically as people get the game in their hands. Unfortunately, my biggest fear with Orbital Gear is that nobody's going to get it in their hands. Nobody's going to be making cool new house rules because no one's going to be playing the game. That's just an uphill battle that a multiplayer-only indie game faces in today's world. There's a lot of competition out there from free-to-play games and from more established games. So I hope Nightnode has something in their back pocket, some strategy to help build a community around Orbital Gear. Now, I would be remiss if I allowed you to walk away thinking this is just a deathmatch game. There is a team versus team mode called Orbital Warfare, where you battle back and forth trying to power up your death ray and destroy the other team. Now, of course, Brian and I couldn't really engage in that because it would just still be kind of like one-on-one -on -one deathmatch with some secondary objectives. So we didn't really play any of that. Don't really have any footage of that. Now, I am holding out hope that I can get a four-player game together, maybe do some two-on-two -two in Orbital Warfare, or just show you the madness of a four-player free-for-all. If I can do that, well, that video will be posted right here on Big Dave is Cheap, so keep an eye out. But more importantly, you should watch out on Steam for the August 7th release of Orbital Gear. I would encourage you to pause for a moment and check your bank balance as you see Orbital Gear hit the Steam new releases page sandwiched between Freddy Fish and Putt Putt and maybe pick up this truly unique and this truly interesting independent game from a developer that is passionate about what they do. If you'd like more information on Nightnode software or on Orbital Gear, check the links in the description below. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.